Now I'm going to click my Alt button and semicolon, and that's going to bring up my workspace. Okay, and so you're just going to scan to the folder with all the files that you're going to use. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I have it open here, and this is the same loop that I was using before. If I left click on the file, okay, let's bring that volume down a little bit. Now, what's cool about this is you can see your Elastic Audio feature is up here, and if you left click on this button here it highlights green and that turns on whatever algorithm you're gonna be using okay and I'm gonna bring this tempo back to about let's say uh say about 130 okay now any sample that I preview is now going to play at 130 beats per minute drum loop got a little kick going on okay so it's all gonna play at whatever tempo I tell it to play at. Now, one of the cool things about this is I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in, this full loop, and make sure you're dragging it to a, a new empty channel. Okay, there's my loop, and it fit it across one bar perfectly, so it's not a little bit, you know, it's not falling short of, you know, the, the second bar, and it's not going over. It's, it's, it fits right in there. Okay, and as you notice, as I drag that over, it automatically turned on polyphonic okay which is what I have turned on here and if I had it selected to very speed it would just automatically turn on the very speed okay and at the same time you're playing this file whatever file you preview is going to be automatically matched up to whatever you're playing so I'm going to play this loop here now whichever file that I choose here it's going to match up automatically yeah as you can see it waits a little bit until the, you know, it catches up a little bass line yeah and that's a really quick and easy way to beat match great for you know um, remixing and sampling and all that stuff you know if you have an acapella um, you know just toss it on in there and so you know you could uh let me turn this off so you could uh you know just just bring in a few tracks you've got that drum loop let's bring in the bass let's bring in that piano loop okay and I'll just shorten this down a little bit. Okay, so now if I play them all back. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mix it up a little bit. But uh, you know, that's 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 a very quick and easy way to um, you know, just drop some loops in there and uh beat match, conform everything to your tempo. And you know, now as opposed to just one uh, you know, one file, you know, changing to the tempo, you can you know, you can switch it up, you can do this, get it up, slow it down, you know, turn your very speed on, you can switch the very speed on all three of these, and then get some crazy effects with that, yeah, yeah, so, you know, just play around with that, learn it, and, uh, you know, just get creative. Like I said, there's, there's no limit to what you can do. The possibilities are endless. So what we're going to learn next is we're going to do some drum buildups. And I'm going to show you how to chop up the samples, loop them up, and uh, we're going to get some good drum buildups using Elastic Audio. So I'll see you in a minute.